Hi guys, good morning. This is your girl Trini, aka you know who. Whew, I am already out there this morning. It is about seven something. And um, as you see, I've already completed almost six miles this morning. I got on three waistbands, I'm wet, and I'm getting ready to head back out there with my walking my walking buddy to um to do to complete our walk i um started with a, a new buddy this morning and because i'm trying to do um shaggy you want to go go ahead go ahead go. go because i'm trying to complete do morning um uh twenty thousand steps a day oh my god 20 it's building back you see that but it's <laughs> I can't do any kind of lifting. I know I'm completely off topic, but I can't do any kind of major lifting with this. Like I got my jump rope. Well, I actually got two for Christmas, and I tried to jump rope, and I can't. I can't do this, but I, I'll work it out. But anyway, I'm trying to do twenty thousand miles a day, minimum. So I definitely have to go in and do do more than one walk a day. Um, so I'm just waiting for my, uh, my buddy to just come back and I started my walk at five this morning and I'm back and waiting for the other one to, to call me. But somebody had, um, asked me on my last video to talk about, um, the struggles and how hard it's been over the years as far as weight loss and how people treat you and stuff like that. And, um, for me... It's been off. It's been, you know, it's been mostly good when you know people recognize who you are, and they're like, "Oh my God, you that girl from YouTube? Oh my God, yes, I I saw you lost all the way. You did that, or whatever the case may be." But um, and it's all gravy. But when it comes to the part where when you when people know you for being four hundred pounds all your life, three hundred and some odd pounds mainly closer to 400 pounds all your life and then you lose all this weight and then you become a little person um then you, you get oh you skinny and you're this and you're you're looking sick and um that's hard it's hard um because it's not encouraging words you know after a while they get so used to seeing you on the big side and See on the small side, it's like small side for me is anything under 250. I'm starting to look small, um, because I'm very tall, and so now it's like anything under 250 is starting to look really funny to for other people to see me. It looks really funny because, um, hold on. It started to look really funny because they're not used to that. But you see, health is not size. Health is, you know, I want to be able to move and I want to be able to, to be comfortable in my skin. And it's just like, I don't feel comfortable being bigger. I want to be able to get up and move and, you know, rumble with the best of them. And I don't, I don't feel that when I'm almost 400 pounds. I if you know me, you know that I'm a fit girl inside. I've always fought for my weight. I just have a body that's big. Like, it loves being big. And if I just do what a regular person do for one week, I can gain 15 pounds. And that's easy for me to gain. 15 pounds is nothing for me to gain, you know? So it's like I have to fight for the rest of my life or... As soon as I stop for two months, I'll gain 30, 40 pounds. And then I'm greedy on top of that. It doesn't help. I love food and I love to eat. And I'm a, and I'm I am an emotional eater. When I'm stressed out, my first thing is to run to food. I, and and when I'm doing right, I try to run to the workouts and I try to put it somewhere else. But I'm human, you know, I'm human. And so many times I say, that's it, I'm done, I'm going to have this surgery, but I'm broke. So I can't have the surgery, 
You know, because I cannot tell you that if I had the money or the opportunity that I would not have done it. You know, I won't use it as a way out, but I use it as a tool to help me make me better. You know, um, I, I, I help a way to help me control the damage I can do when I'm emotional. Like right now, I'm very emotional right now. And, and, and yeah, it, it's taking everything in me not to run to food, but I'm trying to find another way. And I could do this for a while, but then sometimes I get weak and I will fall. I have fallen. And I may come back, I may lose all my weight and come back two years and I'll be like, I'm back again. But the one thing about me is that I have never given up. And I would never give up. I may stop for a minute, but if you're on my Facebook, you know I'm always fighting. I'm forever fighting. You know, because in my brain, I'm supposed to be fit. I'm supposed to be a fit chick. I'm supposed to be a bodybuilder with cuts and not extremely bodybuilding, but someone with, you know, that's how I picture me. And that's how I want to be, you know. And not everybody's going to accept this about you. It's hard having people in your world that don't understand that about you. That don't understand when you want to get up 5 o'clock in the morning that I'll be like, babe, I'll be back. Let me, let me go do what I have to do for me. Especially someone that, that, that haven't had that in their lives. And now you want them to accept you getting up 5 o'clock in the morning and have to do this. It's, the transition is hard for you and the transition is harder for them. So you, not, you don't just have to get yourself together and your mind together to push you to get out of that bed at 5 o'clock in the morning. But you also have to, you know, sell this to your partner, your wife, your husband. Like, babe, I need to do this for me. And them understanding. Because most partners, they don't, they don't want to understand. They, oh, baby, you find the way you are. And, you know, I love you the way you are. And come lay up with me. But if they love you, they have to accept the fact that this is what you need to do for you. And, you know, it's that, that's a struggle in itself. Doing this 30-day cleanse that I did the first time, it was so freaking hard. Let me tell you, it was so hard to do this cleanse. And if it wasn't for friends and knew how much this means to me and, and stuff like that, it's like they kept me 100. Oh, I, I almost fell a couple of times, but they kept me 100 because they knew in the end this is something that I really wanted. And I'm so thankful to have some people around me that really understand my struggle, that really understand that Trini Les is really human. I am just like the regular girl around the corner. I have struggles. I have fears. This journey is a lifetime journey. It is forever. It's something you can't, I cannot, I can never stop because once I stop, I'm going to be the 300 girl. You know, I've forever been a 300 pound girl. All my life, I've barely gotten out of the 300 pound foot for a minute. Just a minute. But that minute of me being outside 300 pounds, I crave that. I crave to be a 200 pound girl. Now, 200 pound, like 200 pounds, but anything in the 200 pound, my, uh, my ideal weight it would be 230, but I want to see what I'm like close to 200. And then with that, I have to hear, oh, you're sick. Oh, you look sick. Oh, my God. But how am I sick when my ass is 50 inches? You know, yes, my neck might be smaller. My breast might be smaller. My waist is little, but my ass is ka kabam. It's, I mean, it's out there. When I lost my weight on YouTube... Um, back in 09 or whenever it was, and I got to 230. Hey, my hips was 50 inches. Are you kidding me? What part of that is skinny? Not one inch of that is skinny. My ass was in a size 16 pants. Ain't no part of that ass skinny. Okay, but it compared from a 28, most people were like, yeah, you were really small. But I wasn't small. I wasn't small at all. I was far from small. You know, and you have to live your life for you. You have to live your life to make you happy. <sighs> and not everybody's going to accept this about you. This video is getting really long. The struggle is real. You're going to have to keep on fighting. And whether I'm here on YouTube or I'm not on YouTube, 
if this is my struggle this is my struggle today i don't feel like being sassy today i'm all i gotta get up at five let me jump in these pants you know and i'm about to roll today it's all about let's get it in type day you know some most days i'm like oh i got to get sassy i got to look sexy because it boosts my ego and it makes me go harder. Today, I'm just about, it is what it is. Whatever is whatever. You know, but you got to do what, at the end of the day, you have to do what makes you happy. And it may come off as being selfish, guys. It may come off as you're all about you. It's just about you. You know, you don't care about us. You know, you don't, you don't care about family. You don't care about us. But... A better me is a better us. When I'm happy, we all gonna be happy. If I'm miserable and I'm crying about how unhappy or how unhealthy I am, everybody's gonna be miserable. Everybody's gonna be unhappy. So why, 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 why put yourself through that? Get up, do what you have to do to be a better you. Okay, yes, I go to bed at eight o'clock some days. Yes, because I wanna get up at five so I can get my mind in early. So I can do what I have to do early so I have the rest of the day. Yeah, you know, I've been called old. I've been called, you know, uh, you like an old lady, you, you go to bed early. Okay, I understand that and it may not fit in to the average world, you know what I'm saying? But right now, this is my world and this is what I have to do to keep me sane. So is you gonna love me and accept me for me going to bed at eight or you gonna trash me and drag me through the mud? Which one is it? Because you, you can't have it all, you know? It may not be what you used to, but this is who I am. And if I gotta love you and accept you for who you are, then you love me and accept me for who I am. Don't make me feel less than. See, this is another thing. Okay? You have self-motivation. Self-motivation is the key. Because without that, you have nothing. If you're sitting down depend on the next motherfucker, excuse me, to push you, to encourage you, oh, baby, get up. It ain't gonna work, boo. It's all about you. You have to put you first. You have to, you have to, you have to put you first. Because if you don't, the next time somebody call you fat or something, you can, you're gonna get depressed and you're gonna stop. My job is like, I'm gonna show you. Oh, you think I can't do it? Or you think I can't? Or you think I'm not gonna? Or you think I'm not capable of doing that? I'm gonna show you. You know what I'm saying? I feed off of you can't do that or you not going to or you can't get lose a hundred pounds or you can't or you gonna forever be fat so you gonna stay I'm gonna show you see 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 I'm gonna show you that's how I roll you know and I feed off of that self motivation is the key you have to push yourself this journey have to be about you you have to want to do it for you. You cannot depend on a walking buddy. You cannot depend on nobody. I don't need nobody to walk with me. I don't need nobody to push me. I push me. I get on that scale and I see that. Oh, shit. Oh, do you see? Oh, it's on. Self-motivation is the key. You can't get depressed because you go up a couple ounces and you go up. I know exactly what I put in my mind, I know if I drink this here soda here, that I'm going to gain X, Y, and Z. So when you drink this soda here and you gain a couple pounds, you can't go to cry. Why are you crying? You can't cry because you know once you gain, you drink that soda, you're going, your body going to have a reaction. You have to know your body. I've been in this journey long enough to know my body. I know when I go out, if I eat KFC, honey, I haven't had KFC and I don't even know how long. But if I have KFC, I already know I'm up five pounds coming the next day. Because that, that has so much salt in it. It's absolutely ridiculous. I'm not knocking the people, but I'm just saying. For me, I can't have stuff like that. You know, it's hard having, as a couponer, extreme couponer, it's hard having all these snacks around you and, you know, and not eating it. But I've managed. I've actually managed. I mean, just this past week has been the first time I've had 
we had a chips deal where I had 60 packs of six packs of chips in my house because I give to families or whatever. And I had all this time this been in my house. It took me going through an emotional situation for me to sit down with a whole six pack and ate the whole damn pack. And like, really, Trini? Really? Really? Seriously, all this here to do this? And I'm like, okay, get up. You, you got to do an extra half a mile on that every day for the next week. And you know what? I had it. I ate it and it's over with. Now I'm pushing it. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, this year is going to be raw. I'm not saying, I'm not perfect. I'm only sharing my struggles. And I know when my body shot come up, oh, did she really gain weight? Okay, yes, I really gain weight. But I'm human. Let's go. Let's move forward. You know, it's, it's going to be as real as it always was. The struggle is real. It's real. It's real. And I know I'm not the only one going through this. I, I can't be. I can't be doing this alone. I'm not the only one that's been fighting this demon here all my life. I can't be. Okay? But I'm going to be one of the ones that's going to share it. I've always been real and I'm going to give it 100. So with that being said, I'm about to hit my second wall. Like I said, I'm fighting from my 20,000 steps. Give and take 10 miles every day and i'm going up it back to 16 miles with time but it's going to get real so i see you in a little while maybe tomorrow and um it is what it is this video is really long i know you guys probably won't watch it but it is what it is talk to you guys later bye